Hello again everyone. I uh, thought I'd show you guys something I'm kind of in the middle of working on here. I've got this uh, Techniques uh, 1200 uh, M3D turntable and um, it's actually a friend uh, who's a DJ and I guess he got it really cheap because it was uh, not working. Um, when you plug it in, well the, the original, when, when, when he got it, as soon as you would plug it in and turn the power on, the platter would just start spinning and spinning and it would just speed up and it would like you know go really fast uh, with no controls you couldn't hit uh, either of the 33 45 buttons up here you couldn't hit start or stop uh, the pitch adjust didn't respond or anything and so you know he brought it to me i opened it up and on first glance you know nothing seemed quite out of the ordinary but as soon as i removed the screws that hold the 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 main board here on and I flipped it over. First off, I noticed, and let me zoom in here so you can see it. Those big black spots right there. It's like something shorted. So I was like, holy crap, you know, what could have caused that? And then upon closer inspection up here on the main board, I already kind of started a, a link in place. But this whole trace right here between there and over here was all burned up. So I think what may have occurred was that either somebody was just messing with it or there was some issue with it. I don't know, but I think they might have removed this, uh, the main input board here where the power comes in and it made contact with the uh, frame down there on the bottom, shorted that out. They panicked, I guess let go of it, and then it ended up shorting up here. On this trace so that was all burned up this is all burned up here on the bottom but I mean it's getting power so there's nothing wrong with the input and the transformers working so I mean that's not that's not the issue here um, the input from the transformer comes in here it goes to a rectifier you know it goes out to the voltage regulators and all that stuff there's a up here on the top that transistors uses a voltage regulator and uh, I believe that seems to be working okay since the motor drive is actually working and it spins but I thought maybe the main controller chip here on the board, this is a, a Technique's branded part, AN6680. I thought maybe this one was dead because when I was uh, looking around here on the board, that trace, oh, sorry about that. Let me get this a little better here. That trace that was burnt is like a ground trace and it comes all the way up to the top, goes around, comes around this way comes all the way over here and it goes to a transistor right here and this isn't actually the original transistor the original transistor was uh, this little one here and this one is uh, numbered it just uh, seriously there it is if uh, you can see it it says a uh, d637 and uh, it's a 2sd637 uh, this one is uh, it's dead it has um, you, you're not going to be able to see here, but it actually has two tiny holes right above, right above the numbers. So that one was completely dead. It was, uh, I believe, an MPN uh, transistor, and I think it, it might actually be a discontinued part because I couldn't find uh, any replacements for it. But I did have a another MPN transistor here that I replaced it with from uh, my junk bin, and I put that in place. And after I did that and I uh, applied power again it was still rotating on its own but nowhere near as fast as uh, it was when we first got it it was just you know started going kind of slowly and uh, you could push these buttons the ones up here in the front and they would actually seem to respond the LED would turn on where when you first got it they, they weren't doing anything at all um, they would just turn on when you hit it but then it would just kind of stop and of course start stop was still not doing anything so I'm doing a little more digging and I noticed that there was this other transistor, this one right here, that was in this spot right there. Um, and uh, this one actually looks like it has some interaction with the, the controller chip. And this one was getting pretty warm. So that's when I thought, okay, if uh, this is here, then maybe uh, there's something wrong with the uh, main controller chip. So I rem that's why I removed it. Um, although this chip itself wasn't feeling like it was getting warm or anything. So I, um, I removed the controller. I checked the voltages on the pins that are supposed to be the voltage pins for this uh, AN6680. Uh, 
and there didn't really seem to be anything there. It was just like some funky, like a few funky millivolts. So, you know, kind of looking around, it looks like this had been replaced as well. And this, um, I don't even, I'm not even sure if that was supposed to be an MPN or a PMP part number in there. But whatever, um, and actually I haven't looked this up yet, it's a 2SC3902. Um, might not be the right kind of part that goes in that spot. So whoever had this must have just replaced it thinking that, okay, you know, maybe this will work. It's, I don't know if the one there was blown or what, I have no idea. So I'm still kind of messing with this and uh, I'll see if I can uh, figure anything out. So hopefully there's a good chance that this one isn't dead and I can uh, still use it and maybe, you know, uh, something with like the power regulation that's uh, messed up. So luckily I was able to find the uh, service manual for this exact model turntable and uh, that's going to help a lot because I'll be able to, you know, figure out what kind of transistor was supposed to go in this spot and, um, you know, I'll be able to check different points and make sure that I'm getting the right weight forms and voltages. And so hopefully, you know, it'll come down to just uh, replacing a few transistors or whatever and hopefully this chip isn't dead because um, as, as I did like a little bit of searching and um, I found some on eBay and there's one that supposedly they're genuine and um, I guess they, they come from uh, Japan or whatever, wherever it was they were shipped from and it was almost 40 bucks. But I'm just always kind of wary about ordering parts from overseas because you never know if you're going to get like a counterfeit or something and you know it might not work properly and then you're out 40 bucks, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I kind of don't want to run into that situation, hopefully if I can. So I'm kind of hoping that this one's still okay. So I'll, um, I'll probably just, uh, you know, get a laptop out here, bring out the, the service manual and I'll be poking around find different things hopefully you know i can get the numbers for those transistors and uh, replace them with something equivalent so let's uh yeah let's dig in a little more and uh, we'll see what we got here well i decided not to uh, bring out a laptop or anything on it because it was going to be a hassle to be constantly like moving between pages of this document so instead i just printed it out on two sheets taped it down the middle uh works perfect um, there's, I'm not going to make this video too much longer. I'm going to cut it off here soon, but just a couple quick things. Uh, it turns out that the transistor that's supposed to be in that spot right here, that's a Q201. Turns out it's supposed to be a NPN transistor, which is that one right there. And sure enough, uh, that's uh, used as a regulator. So it looks like it steps down to 21 volts down to uh, 10 volts. And that's what feeds the, uh, main control chip here so we're gonna have to definitely do something about that uh, uh, the, the transistor that was in place there this uh, 2SC 3902 is an NPN but I guess it wasn't doing the job right or something I don't know we'll figure that out and then the other transistor this Q202 that's right here this 2SD 637 which I mentioned earlier um, just it's just another NPN transistor and that's only used for driving the strobe LEDs that are right here and um, those are actually right here so an NPN transistor right there it shouldn't be too critical it should work just fine so I'm probably just gonna stick with uh, leaving that one there for that just to test it out once we actually get uh, everything else working here so this is what one of the things that we're gonna be dealing with first of all uh, and um, the only thing that kinda sucks is that I can't really turn this on without having the platter in place because you're not supposed to uh, run the power to the driver without having the magnet in here because I guess it, you know it might energize the coil and it'll just um, burn out one of the drivers or something. So what I had to do to test the to test the voltages originally was solder some wires, uh, kind of like run them underneath and bring them out while the platter was in place, so that I wouldn't damage anything further. Although I'm thinking about maybe just uh, pulling out the the motor driver and seeing if uh, I can maybe uh, poke around a little bit better with this out of the way. So that way I don't have to worry about having the platter in place. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be continuing to work on this and I'll record progress, but um, those will be posted in uh, future videos. I want to kind of keep these uh, videos short now because uh, my internet at home kind of sucks and the upload really sucks. and. Uh, it takes me forever just to upload uh, huge video files, so expect to see a little bit more of like these uh, shorter videos, which um, 
I guess it's, it's kind of okay. It, it doesn't drag on forever. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe some feedback. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.